Pack your bags and we'll take you around the world and back and inspire you to explore. We'll take you for a holiday in Tahiti, the Seychelles and Vanuatu when Explore takes you to the best pleasure islands. This untouched nirvana is without a doubt one of the most mystical places on earth. Forget Pleasure Island, we've found an island utopia. It's called the Seychelles. The Seychelles is made up of over 100 islands scattered over almost one and a half million square kilometres. You'll find the islands, which are made of granite and coral, off the east coast of Africa, northeast off the island of Madagascar. With more and more services heading to the natural and unspoiled sanctuary, you may be lucky enough to get a direct flight there. The islands experience year-long warm weather, which is good news for visitors. But if you want to experience all the Seychelles has to offer, the months of April and May and October and November see the water temperature rise as high as 29 degrees Celsius, perfect for swimming, snorkeling and diving. If you're a fan of fishing, the Seychelles are for you. Between October and April, the outer islands become the epicentre of saltwater fly fishing, but a strict catch and release policy is observed. A variety of charter boats are also available for those wanting to explore wider fishing ground. The deeper waters of the Seychelles Bank is the perfect setting for the tales of the one that got away and if you're lucky, the one that didn't. The back to basics feel and the relaxing serenity may be the reason the Seychelles have long been dubbed the Islands of Love. Because most of the islands are designated national park, they can be viewed as if they've been untouched for millions of years. When it comes time to visit a market, you may be greeted by one of the area's three official languages, Creole, English or French. You'll need to exchange your spending money for some local currency, the Seychelles rupee. Travelling from island to island is as easy as jumping on a ferry, but for a unique holiday experience, step aboard an ox cart and sway and bump your way to some of the most breathtaking beaches you've ever seen. You won't just want to explore these islands, you'll want to get lost in them. If the untouched islands of the Seychelles are the pleasure islands for you, head on down to your travel agent to book a flight. Peak season runs from December to April, but the warm weather is year round. The local currency is the Seychelles rupee. And once you're over there, make sure you explore the pristine nature reserves. You won't regret it. Time to head down under for another group of the world's top pleasure islands. Nestled in the heart of Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the 74 islands that make up the Whitsundays. The sight of the islands from above is well worth the handful of Australian dollars you'll pay to get there. You can cruise around the cluster of islands, either from above in an aircraft or by jumping aboard a boat. Whatever your pleasure, the Whitsundays has an island for you. 
Hamilton Island is a great starting point for anyone's with Sunday's experience. The airport and the harbour make this paradise easily accessible. From there, you may want to go out on one of the island's most popular day trips, out to the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is one of Australia's, if not the world's, most enticing destinations. After just a short boat trip, you will find yourself exploring some of the finest parts of the world's largest coral reef. Like the Great Wall of China, the Great Barrier Reef can be seen from outer space. Similar to other reefs around the world, it's home to a diverse array of sea life, but unlike other reefs, it offers views from above that are just as, if not more awe-inspiring than those from below. Those lucky enough to be visiting between June and September may discover a few extra visitors to the island. Each year, migrating whales make their way through the warm waters of the Whitsundays. If you're looking to relax, hop over to South Moll Island, a great place for families and couples. But if your pleasure is health and beauty treatments, you can't go past Daydream Island. For romantic couples looking for long stretches of white beaches, board a catamaran and head to Hayman Island. See, I told you, there is an island for everyone. You can fly to these magnificent islands, landing at one of two airports. Prepare for the tropical climate and remember, to play in this aquatic playground, you'd better fill your wallet with Australian dollars. Once there, don't even think about leaving the Whitsundays without snorkelling one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef. The volcanic mountains of these subtropical islands make Vanuatu a holiday destination with a difference. The stretch of islands that make up Vanuatu are accessible through the International Airport, which is only 10 minutes north of Port Vila, Vanuatu's capital. Air Vanuatu is famous for their in-flight services and for providing a warm welcome. It's the perfect way to begin this Pleasure Island holiday. On the other hand, if you're a fan of the slow life, cruises arrive about once a week. Within the six provinces of Vanuatu, you will find amazing waterfalls, colourful native flora and fauna, Not to mention the mouth-watering fruits and vegetables, all grown locally, of course. And these pleasure islands have something else, an active volcano. For those drawn to the smell of sulphur and heat of red molten rock, the Yasser volcano, located on the Tanner Island, is one of the world's most accessible. As for accommodation, if parents choose their resorts wisely, they can have time to themselves after dropping their children off at the resort's kids-only club. Resorts in the area can also provide a wide range of activities for the family to enjoy together. Pools, tennis courts and golf courses are just a few of the places you can spend your days. Then there are the water sports, which include sailing a catamaran, windsurfing and snorkelling. The hospitality and entertainment put on by the locals make the nightlife an event to look forward to. Over on Iririki Island, resorts are equipped to give every visitor an amazing experience. Iririki is just three minutes from Port Villa by a free ferry. 
Once there, it won't be hard to imagine that Iririki is your own private South Pacific island catering specifically for honeymooners and couples who want to get away from it all. Check yourself into Spa Frangipani for that extra pampering that everyone on holiday deserves. It's the only spa of its kind in Vanuatu, so if being massaged and receiving a pedicure is your idea of an ideal holiday, this is the place for you. Like the other pleasure islands, it's easiest to fly into Vanuatu. The subtropical climate makes June to September the best time to visit. In Vanuatu, there are three official languages, English, French and Bislama, a pidgin language. Once there, make sure you visit the Yasser Volcano. If you're planning on getting married, then you'll have a perfect excuse to visit Bora Bora. Not that you need one. The beachfront resorts, world-famous lagoons and romantic sunsets make this island perfect for honeymooners. Just ask Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. For a no expenses spared experience, why not opt for a beachside villa or one of the many luxury resorts? If you're looking to spend a few of your French Pacific francs, the local markets are full of handmade goods, gifts and souvenirs. For a lasting memento, why not indulge yourself with some black pearl jewellery? The area is famous for the rare type of oyster used to create the stunning pieces. Due to its rarity, the Tahitian pearl is synonymous with magic and perfection. Those looking for an adrenaline rush can hire a jet ski or two and explore the island's inner lagoons. It's an adventure that's well worth the effort. Jet skiing is just one of the exciting activities Bora Bora has to offer. To top off your Bora Bora experience, head over to the Lagoonarium. There, a fenced off area holds a large variety of marine life where, if you're feeling brave, you can even pat a shark. If not, you could always kiss a manta ray. But for those less adventurous, they have plenty of harmless turtles. The gentle eagle rays are the Lagoonarium celebrities, proving time and time again to be the lagoon visitors' close encounter favourites. Those interested in relaxing can sit on the sand and watch as the colours of the ocean change from deep blues to emerald greens. If you've ever wanted to scuba dive, Bora Bora is a great place to learn. While many people experience their first lesson in a pool, at Bora Bora your first experience will be a true diving adventure. The instructors have a reputation for being both experienced and highly qualified, all resulting in a most memorable and enjoyable diving experience. Whether you're looking for an action-packed party in the sun or you're happy to laze by the pool, Bora Bora is a perfect island paradise. Unless you own your own yacht, getting to Bora Bora means you'll have to first fly into Tahiti. You'll then have to brush up on your French and Polynesian. Once there, make sure you check out the Lagoonarium. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. If you haven't guessed by now, these inviting tropical delights can be found on the enchanting island of Guam. You'll find this paradise in the Western Pacific, south of Japan and east of the Philippines. A 
A number of international and commuter airlines fly into Guam regularly, which makes getting to this island as easy as booking a plane ticket. Once you've settled in, getting around Guam is just as easy. It's made even easier by the numerous modes of transport, from ox carts, to bikes, to hire cars, to limousines. Guam offers something for everyone's budget. It's the same with accommodation. You'll find the luxurious high-rise hotels around Tumon Bay with cheaper accommodation closer to the airport near the village of Harmon. What is it that attracts so many people to this pleasure island? It's the lure of the sea. Like a siren song, these oceans seem to draw visitors back time and time again. With an average water temperature of 27 degrees Celsius, the oceans are renowned for their vivid turquoise lagoons, deep sea currents and amazing water clarity. When diving, it's not uncommon to be approached by a manta ray. These gentle creatures are curious animals and will often stay around the divers for some time. When they have satisfied their curiosity, they simply glide off into the deep blue. Back on land, whilst plenty of rainfall keeps the entire island lush and green, the average temperature is a comfortable 28 degrees Celsius. The local currency is the US dollar, and although English is spoken throughout the island, locals continue to speak their own Chamorro language. Whatever interests you have, surfing, photography, spearfishing, wreck and reef diving, jet skiing, windsurfing or sea kayaking, Guam can provide it. Guam offers year-round warmth and a wide variety of leisure options. Most are suitable and more importantly enjoyable for all ages, making Guam ideal for a family holiday. After flying into Guam, prepare yourself for a tropical climate. It will be warm and humid. Remember that locals speak English and that the local currency is the US dollar. For a holiday the whole family can enjoy, check out Guam. If we haven't already tempted you enough, this place could be your pleasure island. This divine getaway is Tahiti, and if this isn't breathtaking enough, it's surrounded by over 30 other islands and 83 atolls. The sugary white beaches of this island are found halfway between California and Australia. Getting there is as easy as flying into Tahiti's Fa'a'a'a airport. From there, travelling to neighbouring islands is quick and convenient, either by boarding a ferry, a high-speed catamaran or an inter-island aircraft. Once you've brushed up on your French and Tahitian, you can exchange money at the airport or your hotel. The local currency is the French Pacific Franc. If the picturesque beaches, waterfalls and sunsets aren't enough to satisfy, there's always the vibrant marine life and the rugged mountains to explore, not to mention immersing yourself in the area's colourful history. The island of Tahiti is the place to go for a true Polynesian experience. The festivals and the feasts never fail to satisfy visitors. Right next to the turtle-shaped island of Tahiti is the luxurious Marea. After a 10-minute flight or a 30-minute ferry, you will find yourself captivated by the island's rich marine life. Diving is a must. 
At Morea, there are plenty of activities to keep even the most active traveller occupied for months. You can hire a four-wheel drive and take to the trails, or leave the car and go trekking, climbing, or even horse riding. The list of activities is endless. For a taste of what it's like to be a local, head to the Tiki Village. There you can witness Polynesian craftsmen and women at work. The aromas of a traditional Polynesian oven will entice anyone walking by. And if your romantic side gets the better of you, you can arrange to renew wedding vows, recreating the special event. A traditional Tahitian ceremony will be staged for you, then the real fun can begin. You can start your second honeymoon. If these islands are the pleasure islands for you, the easiest way to get there is to fly. Peak season is summer, with locals recommending the months of March, April and May. Don't forget to fill your wallet with French Pacific francs. Make sure you explore the lagoons and the reefs. Final stop on this exciting island hopping adventure brings us to one of the world's most popular island destinations. If you're a reef lover, the Cayman Islands are for you. Also referred to as the Caymans or just Cayman, these islands are located in the Western Caribbean Sea, southeast of mainland USA. Made up of three islands, Grand Cayman is the one where you will find the most tourist activity. To get on the island, you can either fly in or get there on a boat. Georgetown in Grand Cayman is a popular port for cruise ships. The shantytown feel is just one of the appealing features of this peaceful and quiet island, but its biggest draw card is the world-famous Seven Mile Beach. It's here you will find the best hotels and resorts, not to mention a lot of sun-kissed sand. That means there's always enough to go around. If you love relaxing with friends and family, then Grand Cayman is your island. To get to the Cayman Islands, you can choose between boarding a plane or a cruise ship. Peak season is between December and April. The official language is English, while the currency is the Cayman dollar. Before leaving, make sure you stroll along the world-famous Seven Mile Beach. We hope you enjoyed your Pleasure Island journey. Make sure you join us next time for another expedition on Explore.